Hi, welcome to this Blender video tutorial entitled Rotating Objects. To demonstrate Blender's object rotation methods, I've placed a primitive monkey object in my Blender scene. I've also opened the right 3D editor control panel and control up arrowed into full screen. Objects in Blender are rotated around a pivot point. The default pivot point is the object's bounding box center point. It's possible to change the pivot point by clicking on the pivot point icon in the 3D Editor viewport header and select Other Pivot Points. These pivot points are described in a different video tutorial entitled Pivot Points, so for this demonstration we will use the default Object Center Pivot Point. A common method for rotating objects in Blender is to select the object and press the R key. The R key in Blender is the rotation key. Here I will select the monkey object and press the R key and drag my cursor around rotating the monkey object. Notice the X, Y rotation readings in the right control panel. The R key rotates the object based on the view. Since I'm in a user view, the rotation is in part along all three X, Y, and Z axes. I'll left click to set the rotation. Rotating the object using the R key in user view provides very little control, as the rotation will by default be along all three axes. I will set the monkey's rotation back to X, Y, Z, 0, 0.000 by typing 0 into the rotation control panel. To avoid this multi-axis rotation in user view, Blender allows users to follow the R key with a specified axis defined by the X key, or the Y key, or the Z key. Here with the monkey object still selected, I will press the R key, followed by the X key, and rotate the monkey around the object's X axis. Notice now that the rotation control panel reflects a rotation around the X axis only. I will left click to set the rotation. You can do the same thing by using the rotate button in the left 3D editor control panel. Here with the monkey object already selected, I'll press the rotate button in the left control panel and then press the Y key and rotate the monkey around the object's Y axis. I will left click to set the rotation. You can also rotate an object in Blender by clicking on the control arrows in the right rotation control panel. Here, each time I click the control arrow to the right of the Z axis, the object rotates around its Z axis one degree. I can reset the rotation of the monkey object to 0, 0.000 X, Y, and Z by either typing in 0 in the X, Y, and Z rotation controls or I can press Alt-R, which will clear all rotations of a selected object. Here I'll press Alt-R. Note that the monkey's object rotation has returned to 0 degrees X, Y, and Z. I will deselect the monkey object and numpad 7 into top view. In top orthographic view, I will select the monkey and press the R key. Notice that the object's default rotation is based on the view, in this case, the z-axis. Notice also that the object is freely rotated in response to my mouse movement. I can control this a bit by holding down my control key. This causes the object to jump in rotation by 5 degrees each jump as I move my cursor. I can gain even finer control of the object's rotation by holding down the Shift key instead of the Control key. Notice that the object's rotation is quite slow in comparison to my mouse movement. Instead of holding down the control of the Shift key while rotating, I can gain some rotation control by simply clicking the up and down arrows on my keyboard, which rotate the object one degree with each click. I will left click to set the rotation. I will press Alt R and return the rotation to X, Y, and Z 0 and numpad 1 into front orthographic view. Another method to rotate an object is to use the Rotate Manipulator widget. 
By default, when an object is selected, a translate manipulator is located at the object's center. It is this icon here with red, blue, or green arrows. I can change the manipulator from the translate widget to the rotate widget by clicking on the rotate widget icon located in the 3D editor viewport header. Notice that the rotate widget consists of red and blue lines enclosed in a circle. The red and blue lines correspond to the red X and the blue Z axis as indicated in the mini axis indicator at the bottom left of the 3D viewport. This means that I can, in front orthographic view, use the rotate widget to rotate the object around either the X or the Z axis. Here I will click on the red X line in the rotate widget and rotate the object around the X axis. The rotation is accomplished by moving my cursor with the left mouse button depressed. Simply letting go of the left mouse button sets the rotation. Here I will click on the blue Z line of the rotate widget and rotate the monkey around its Z axis. While rotating with the rotate widget, I can still hold down my control button to control the rotation, or I can still hold down my shift button for even finer control. Letting go of the left mouse button sets the rotation. The rotation widget works in all views, and the availability of the widget axis lines will depend upon which view you're in. I'll numpad 3 into right side view. Notice here I have a green Y axis and a blue Z axis as possible object rotation axes. I'll rotate my display into a user orthographic view. I will also Alt-R to clear the object's rotation. Here in User Orthographic View, I can select the red X-axis rotation, or the blue Z-axis rotation, or the green Y-axis rotation. You can return to the Translate Manipulator widget by clicking on the Translate widget icon in the 3D viewport header.